just stay for, can you stay for five minutes? We have something special we want to do now that we were supposed to do last Sunday. And speaking of marriage, I'm going to come down here for this one. Come on up here, Bill and Sue. We're going to renew some vows today. Amen. Come on, stand right here, guys. Stand and face me just like you did on your wedding day. Yeah, yeah. It's, in, it's informal. It's in, um, today, what the enemy tried to destroy, we are renewing a commitment and a covenant towards God in your marriage. Many of you don't know, but before they came to this church, their marriage was on the rocks. Yeah, I'm going to give you a chance to. And what better way to end a very serious message than to recognize and renew the vows of a God-ordained marriage between a precious man and woman who have returned to God. So I'm going to give them the opportunity to share with you this morning. Uh, go ahead, Bill. Well, I like <laughs> my wife gets annoyed with some of my stories, but this one she does not get annoyed with. We'd known each other since grade school, and we dated off and on. Then we disappeared from each other's lives for 20, 30 years. Well, I came back, and I was looking for her on Facebook. We'll try to find Cruz and Juna on Facebook and try to spell that. Well, I had not known that she'd been remarried. So I went to all our high school friends, and she had a picture of her son and her, not her maiden name, but her married name, previously married, horse name. Oh, there goes that. And I thought about her many times when I lived in Arizona. Three weeks later, I get a message from Sue. Do you remember me? I said, I've stalked you for a few years. I should remember you. And that's the one story she doesn't get tired of. And we ended up hooking up. I, the rule is don't let Billy go somewhere. He'll just stay there, because I did. And I think I was able to. Well. Years and years later, 10 years we've been married now. This is why I wanted to do this. I uh, had a relapse and uh, broke her heart. And uh, in my day, we called a preacher a vessel. God. Now it's a portal, you know, for all you tech savvy people. I guess. Nicholas and uh, Pastor David, good friend of Nicholas, uh, took the time to talk to us. And uh, he's not here today, but another good friend of ours I'd like to thank, uh, referred us to Nicholas and David. There's Miles. Miles is here. Where's Miles? Hey, buddy. Thank you. went up a lot to us and it means a lot to be what I can say a member of this church and me and a church and uh don't judge open and speak to about anybody at least I feel I was I served it on Thursday. That's really it's really opened my eyes. The, the words Pastor um, said today, I can relate to a lot of those addictions. I can relate to um, marriages before, or before we get married, all that good stuff. And I just like to say I'm thankful to be here today. Glad you all have folks to stay and listen, and I hope you all have a good week. And a lot of love here. Thank you. Awesome. You can face me now. 
I didn't realize that how appropriate this would be today. That's God. So friends, we are gathered here today in the presence of God to witness the renewal of marriage vows taken by this couple, Billy and Sue Brennan. When they were united in marriage, God was pleased. And God is always pleased when we rededicate our lives and our homes to him as an act of worship. This couple who I met at Atlas was on the verge of divorce. And through the power of God in you, this community of believers, they have redeemed their lives and marriage, and God has brought them back into a place of wholeness and continuing restoration. It's not always going to be easy. It isn't for any marriage, but it's continued restoration. United in what holy matrimony is supposed to be like, and that's one man, one woman, faithful to God and to one another for life. So would you turn and face one another? And please say we do as a couple following each question. Do you promise to renew those vows you first made when you were united in marriage? Do you promise to continue to keep the vows and covenant which you first made on your wedding day? Do you promise to pursue Christ above all and help each other live out godly lives from this day forward? Because of the vows which you have renewed with each other and with God in the presence of these witnesses, let us now join in a prayer of dedication. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this couple. We dedicate them to you, Father. Rededicate them to you, Lord. We pray for as they renew their marriage that was coming out of darkness and is now entering into light, Father. We pray that you would touch them, God, Take them into deeper places in you and draw them closer to each other. Lord, bless them today in Jesus' name. And in Jesus' name, I represent you as husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Thank you. You're dismissed. <laughs>